The older we get, the better we should get. Talking about fitness right now. Talking about taking care of yourself. Talking about working out. Fitness and nutrition. But we know the last century and, and back that people has just been going downhill. Aging is a bad thing. I mean, you listen to people talk about age, it's never nothing good. I mean, you have to, if you haven't noticed, if you listen and think back on it, you don't hear nobody talking anything good about age. Oh, they're getting old. Well, you know they can't get around like they used to. Well, you know they can't bend down. You know they can't live by themselves. And the list just goes on and on and on. Aging should not be a bad thing. It should not be talked about the way that it is. But there's a reason behind that. And, and it's clear, and I stated earlier when I just began here, is because we have more people that has went down, and we talk about in their 50s, there's some in their 40s, you know, have just went down. And you usually go down based on the fact of whether or not and how you take care of yourself. Fitness, health, exercising, and all of that stuff, all of that goes hand in hand. Because when you stop exercising, you just your body just goes down because you become inactive. The autonomy of the body, a body in motion, stays in motion. The body never retires. <laughs> we, we got it twisted. We got retiring mixed up with a job. No, your body and you working on a job is should be two different things. Just because you retire from a job doesn't mean you got to stop doing anything. Your body never retires. A body in motion stays in motion. The autonomy of the body. When you shut the body down, for example, you retire or you just start working and you go into your aging years and you age and age and age, of course the body's going to go down. Aging should not be a bad thing. Aging should not be talked about the way that it's talked about, you know, as far as how bad it is. Good thing about that, what I'm talking about, is you got people today in this 21st century who do work out in their 70s, 80s, and up there and looking good. I meet, I've met them. I meet them all the time. Thank God. Because back then, you probably couldn't have said that about a whole lot of people in their 70s and 80s working out back then. Because it just wasn't happening. You may have one or two, maybe done a little walking, but you didn't have a whole lot. Today we have a lot, but we need even more. We still don't have enough because you aging all depends on independent living and being able to take care of yourself. There's a lot that goes with that as far as taking care of yourself, as far as you getting up there in your years. Now, again, when you don't take care of yourself, you start losing flexibility you start losing uh, muscle mass. And when you tie those two things together, you know, because of inactivity, when you start losing muscle mass and flexibility where you can't even bend over and then muscle mass combined with that where you can't even bend down, squat down the cabinet, the floor to pick up something and can't even get back up, well then that, 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 that scratches your independent living because you just can't independently live in your senior years if you can't take care of yourself, if you can't even bend down and get up off the floor, if you can't get up off the toilet, if you have a hard time getting up out the bed based on how high your bed sits or whatever the case may be, you know. So aging, aging is not really a bad thing if you work out. If you work out and take care of yourself, well then aging really ain't nothing but a number the way people say you know, you know, I like that people throw that around, but aging really ain't nothing but a number if you put in the work. If you're not putting in the work, that's where age comes into play. There's most of the stuff because as you get older, people like to tie a lot of things to old, getting aging and getting older. Now, if you got several medical issues, most of the medical issues that you have those things started probably back in your late 30s, when you was in your 30s or into your 40s. 
and now you at you in your 60s, 70s, and 80s, and now you still got all of those medical issues. For example, heart problem, diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney. Now aging does play a difference. Yes, that's where aging does kick in. You're inactive, you're not working out, you're not gonna work out, you never worked out. Uh, probably the job you had, perhaps maybe, I'm talking about some folks now, not everybody, maybe a job you had maybe kept you somewhat busy according to what your job was. But the only problem with that, if they had a job where they was active and moving around, the problem with that, when you retire and you don't do anything, well then that's when you start going downhill. That's when the aging, the aging, so to speak, uh, cause a problem because you're not doing anything. Otherwise, if you are working out and you are taking care of yourself, age then ain't nothing but a number, okay? That's the only way age ain't nothing but a number if you're working out. Oh, but Master Fitness, uh, my uncle lived and he was 104. There's 350 million people in America. Name 10, go. You can't, <laughs> you can't name 10 and I can't either. That's 100 nothing. You know, that just, yeah, that's a good thing. He's blessed. Okay, that one is blessed. It's 350 million. You got to work out. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. You got to work out. It's about fitness and nutrition. That can help you. Instead of depending on what may have happened with somebody else. You know, that doesn't serve you very well. If you're not working out and eating right and doing all of the things that you're supposed to be doing, all of that is irrelevant. You know, but you got to put in the work. Aging is not a bad thing. As you age and get older, you're supposed to get better. We're supposed to get better. From 18 to 40, you should be better at 40. Better looking physically, feeling better, and in better shape. From 40 to 60, at 60, you should look better physically than you did at 40. From 60 to 80, at 80, you should look better at 80 than you did at 60 physically. But you got to put the work in. That's the only way that happens. I mean, there's no such thing about, you know, you know, you know, resting on morals and talking all that other talk. You have to put the work in. That's, that's, that's what's going to help you. That's what's going to prolong your life. That's what's going to help you as far as health-wise. That's what's going to help you going into your senior years on independent living where you can do stuff around the house. You can still cut your own grass. You can get out and do uh, all of your own stuff. And that way you can live a long, independent life without, you know, because if you can't do that, uh, obviously, you know, a nursing home, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, you know, maybe just downhill from there, you know, but you, if you take care of yourself, and put the work in, you will get better as you age. And you should get better. Autonomy of the body. A body in motion stays in motion. The body should not be going downhill. As you get older, you should be going uphill, which means you should be better and better and better. In Master Fitness world here, I'm Master Fitness, and I'm not young either, but we don't play the age game here. We get better. We get better and better and better. We're not going the other way. We're not going down toward the, uh, th that way. We're going that way. Like, press that subscribe button, go ahead and press it, press it. And ride with me, and we're going to be doing all these different muscle groups. We're working on fitness every week. This is Master Fitness. The older you get, the better you should get. This is Master Fitness, the building of a machine.